What's up guys, it's Cameraman Pokemon, and today we're cracking into the first Sword and Shield Darkness Ablaze booster box. I was actually really, really doubting if I um, would open it up today, but I was talking to the guys, Angel Agile Fox and the boys from Uncertified Fire Online, and I asked them, should I open it? I kind of don't have the energy to film, but I really want to crack in some packs. But, you know, you don't want to have a situation where you pull one of these in English and you don't have it on camera. So I decided to film it. I might be a little bit more chill, not super active, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna open up some packs, really enjoy the set. I wanna take my time and look through those packs and just enjoy it. I put the Japanese version in the back here between Zacian and Zamazenta as a, as a good luck charm. I actually opened the Zacian and Samazenta promo kits where you get these amazing vigors over the weekend. So um, if you missed that video, go check it out. It has some awesome products inside. So it's definitely worth checking out at least the products. And uh, yeah, I think uh, I'm just gonna start, maybe do two videos, maybe not, depends on how long I'm gonna take, but uh, we're just gonna enjoy and open up the new set. Let's go. All right, guys, let's get into these packs. Again, I am gonna take my time. I am a little bit tired. It's still blazing hot. And uh, yeah, I just wanna, I wanna really enjoy this because I really felt like opening up some packs and I really enjoy filming myself opening up some packs. But, you know, you try to be a little bit more entertaining than if you would be by yourself or with some friends because you're, yeah, you're constantly talking. So that, that can get a little bit more you know, I wouldn't say tiring, but it's, you know, you're you're trying to be at least a little bit of entertaining. For me, I know my channel is just about opening the cards and being very relaxed. But uh, yeah, I decided to film it. I hope I get the pulls I want and uh, I hope you enjoy it as well. So if you do hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, but uh, if you just want to see the pulls, of course, feel free to skip ahead, but drop a like if you like the pulls. So we get our first reverse, which is a ferret. He's just chilling up in the tree and for the first rare. Yes, 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 yes. It is the beautiful, beautiful Suicune. Just look at it. You can see him looking at you from behind. Wow, this is definitely, maybe with the dark ride, but no, no, this is definitely my favorite hollow from the set. I know there's also an Agron. Let me get a sleeve that is, the Agron is also very cool. But um, no, I think the Suicune, uh, Suicune is, we're going on the left side first, left side first. Suicune is definitely uh, my favorite hollow. But there's, I, I, there are some good hollows in this set and I hope, I hope we get them. There's a Milotic, of course there's a Milotic. How can I say Suicune is the best? There's a Milotic hollow, so let's hopefully we get that. We got Metal Energy, Vanillish, oh, this is a bit. Clang, Gotharita, we got a Wimpod, Grimer reaching out, Kling, we got Ducklet, we got Mareep, Tassarina, which is a reverse rare, so that's great for the, for the master set. And then for the rest. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> I'm so happy I didn't open off camera. I was really, really planning to open up, open up this box off camera. Look at this guys, and there it is, double trouble. We already got it, second pack in. Oh, I'm so happy I opened this up. Oh, this card is insane. Let's look at the back. Oh, it is, yeah, it looks pretty good actually. No whitening, no, oh, I pulled it. Oh, yes. Man, you can't believe it. Like I was really about to open this box up off camera. And, you know, I know it's a Charizard VMAX. It's, I don't think it's gonna be super rare. I think that it, it is a little bit overrated in how rare it is right now. But yeah, to have it already, I think it goes for like 100 or 130 right now. So that's, I wish I did, oh, I should have used this box for can we make a profit? Dang it, I would have a profit by the second pack. But uh, there's a video coming that's gonna, that's gonna continue my can we make a profit series, but uh, Yes, guys, Charizard VMAX, we did it. It's, it's done, we, you know, we now can relax. You know, we can just continue this show opening. I'm gonna put it on the side. Now, let me put it, 
next to that one. So it looks like, oh sh shoot, this guy pulled two. No, the, the left one is Japanese. But, um, hey, 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 if somebody has ever been to the Netherlands, there is um, kind of a Dutch, I wouldn't call it a saying, but uh, we use ha ha as a sign of relief. Um, yeah, the, the people that are Dutch that watch this <laughs> would understand <laughs> what that means. But uh, oh my goodness, we pulled it. Uh, we pulled it already. So now this, the rest of this box, you know, like whatever we pull is just extra because that, that just covers up the whole cost of that box, which is insane. Grimer, we got Scovet, and then for the rare, we got a Mimikyu. Let me look at that. I pulled this at Bingo, but I didn't really look at it. Very cool artwork. And it has Healing Jam, your opponent's bank smoking bone can't be healed. Okay. So this is a great counter for um, healing uh, for healing decks. Cool. Santa Scorch, also a card that I really want to like, would like to pull. The Santa Scorch VMAX. We pulled it. Holy crap, we pulled it already. Oh my god, that's gonna be my my uh, tagline for this uh, for this video. We pulled it. I think that's that's what I'm gonna use in the thumbnail. All right, darkness energy, soul rock. I'm, again, I'm gonna take it slow, guys. This is gonna be a more a slow opening. I'm just gonna enjoy it. But uh, oh, enjoy it. I'm already or enjoying it. I'm just looking at the background right there. The Simeon, fledgling. We got Jigglypuff reverse, and we got a Alyssa Pot Hollow. I really like Alyssa Pot. It has a little bit of a shitty ability in the game where it's, I think when it gets hit and um, its HP goes down 50%, it ejects himself out of the battle. So I'm not sure, like, I think there's decks that you can use it with, but um, I do like the design of it. I think it's a very cool, it almost has kind of like a magic carp feel to it where the wind pod is kind of a, yeah, not a very great and a very small Pokemon. And it turns into like this beast of a Pokemon. So, uh, yeah, I definitely like Alyssa Pod. I think I think they definitely used the Magikarp Gyarados um, or had inspiration. We pulled it already. I'm gonna say the whole video, guys. We pulled it. Holy crap, we pulled it. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so. And I still have, I think, two more booster boxes coming. So we don't have the pressure of pulling it. And if I pull it twice, oh, I might give it up for a giveaway. I don't know. I, I already gave up another Charizard for a giveaway. I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe I want to give it up for a giveaway. If you think I should give it up for a giveaway, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, hit that like button, of course. I didn't even say that. Hit that like button for that Charizard. We got a Fire Monkey in reverse, and we got Swana. Also pretty cool artwork on that. Yeah, I really like that artwork. I, I just, I, th I think, I'm not sure if, what I should do, but I, I think I should rename the video, like just chill opening up Pokemon packs, right? I. Sometimes you feel the pressure of filming and you, you know, you feel like you should go fast, but man, I want to enjoy it. I want to take my time. I know I want to make entertaining videos, but I feel, I think if I'm, I'm the most entertaining when I'm enjoying myself at the most. So, and that's taking it slow. I do love the bingos and going fast, but I do really like when I just go through the cards and want to stop when I see a card like this wishy-washy kind of has a Cubone effect to it. Pokemon breeders nurturing. I do want to get that trainer because um, yeah, just as a VGC player or as a Sword and Shield Pokemon player, I, I did a lot of breeding for shiny. So for that only, I just want to pull it. Hey, there's the Agron. Look at this hollow guys. Again, oh man, there's some really good. I love the Suicune, the Milotic I still want to pull, but look at that hollow. Yeah, that's definitely very cool. Yeah, super awesome. I like it. I like it a lot. So we already got three hollows. We got the VMAX Charizard. What can happen for the rest of this box, right? I, I've seen some pretty crazy box before Darkness Ablaze. So I'm, I'm very curious how far we can take it with this box because we got the hit of the oh, hit, of, hit of the set. So if we pull a gold Rillaboom, oh man. I, I saw, of course, I saw Seismic Shock TV pull it in a pre, pre list kit, which was amazing. We got two of these in gold version, which is also cool, but yeah, I would love to see a different cold card than my Parasol. If I get one more Parasol, I can start a restaurant uh, over here. Morlel, we got Toxel, Hippopotus, uh, Reverse, and for the rare, we got, is this the Hollow? No, right? No, it's not the Hollow. Sorry, I have to look it up a bit, but uh, the Hydreigon, regular rare. Sent the Scorch, back at it again. Let's see. Oh, I'm so happy we got the Charizard. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just going to keep saying it. 
<laughs> but it's so cool. Like it's just, then um, yeah, it's the card is set. You want to pull it, right? You want to pull it. You want to have it. And ooh, we saw something. Might there be more fire in this one? Dead Dene. We got Vibrav, um, Corvus Squire. I'm, I'm really waiting for the Corviknight V card and the V Max card because I, I love the V Max version of Corviknight. Larvesta um, got Skitty, and there's something here. I'm pretty sure we got Slow Bro V. The Galarian style. Um, I think this is really cool. Rapid fire poison. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is in the active spot, you may make your opponent's active Pokemon poisoned. Okay, so that's pretty decent, I think. I, I haven't played uh, TCG um, in a while. I was very into it in the sun, uh, in some of the Sun and Moon sets, but um, yeah, I kind of shifted to uh, TC of uh, VGC, the the video game uh, two versus two battle style. I don't know, I, I really enjoyed it. And I can only play one game at a time because, you know, I wanna, oh, this pack is, whoa. Okay, take it easy. Um, I can only focus and, and kind of learn one game at a time, like if I'm really trying. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna go back to TCG. I, I do enjoy opening packs and following everything, but um, I've been enjoying VGC so much. There's just, I don't know, I, I really like the, the ranking and, um, I'm not sure the online uh, TCG for me is just a little bit slow and I just mean how it runs on my computer. So that's also a little bit annoying. I might I might try it again. Plus I give away all the code cards. So I don't also, I don't, also don't have any packs anymore. Maybe that's it. I don't have any packs anymore. Mel Metal, Mel Metal. Don't think, I'm not sure if I have this rare, but I do like it. Of course, we still have a G-Max version for Mel Metal. It got revealed a little bit on a stream somewhere. But um, yeah, it's not officially revealed. So uh, there's another G Max version coming, maybe in the Crown Tundra, um, the new DLC that is um, coming to uh, Sword and Shield. I think somewhere in November, probably. So who knows? We get a new G Max. I would love to see more G Max Pokemon. I actually would love it because uh, I think it's. Uh, I was very, very skeptical at the beginning, but I have completely embraced it and very happy with how it turns out. Pooptar. Pokemon Breeding, we got Bounce Sweet, Dunsparce, Electric, Galarian Mysterine, we got Grimer, Larvesta, and for the rare, whoa. Oh, Zalamence Full Art. Yes, definitely a card. I don't think it's super valuable, but I love Zalamence. I got the VMAX. Yeah, I got the VMAX in the pre-release kits. I got the Full Art, so I just need the Rainbow and the regular fee. So the rainbow is going to be challenging. Let's look at the back. Yeah, this is a cool card. I like Salamence. I'm happy they, they gave it more love. So this box is turning out great. A Femax, Charizard, and a Salamence. Great, great centering. So um, yeah, the rainbow Salamence V is going to be difficult. I think the regular Salamence V is going to be okay. But um, yeah, it would it'd be awesome to get that line. I think I don't really complete sets. But seeing I have the best card in the set, it might be okay to try to complete um, Darkness Ablaze. It might be okay. I, I mostly go for just the cards I want, the favorite cards, and I just, um, yeah, I, I continue to pull stuff until I have those, but not really a set, focus on completing the set. But, you know, seeing we have some cards, I think if I get either the Colossal or Rillaboom uh, Gold, which are, I think, probably the other um, expensive cards, weekly top. Then I might complete it, but uh, not sure. Not sure. I uh, yeah. I, let, let's wait and see. Let's wait and see if we if we get gold from um, from this uh, from from one of these boxes and the Rillaboom or Colossal. Hopefully the Rillaboom because I think that's more expensive. Um, then um, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Should I complete it? I don't know. I just enjoy opening packs and like completing a set. If you watch Tojo's um, channel, he has some amazing set analysis. He, he talks about completing a set and it's just crazy difficult. Uh, Liopard. What I love about this Liopard is that you can clearly see that it's on the same location as it is in the Sword and Shield games or pretty much like on the same location. And I'm not sure if you play the games, you probably encountered it in the, in the, um, in the wild area a couple of times and it's always in the same spot and and that that just this card reminds me of that so well done pokemon on that because i love when you know it, it the the cards are connected to each other but even even more if they're connected to 
um, yeah, other parts of the games or the lore or whatever it is. So, oh, let's see what we, yeah, four from the back. I just had a little mind blur right there. Water energy. We got powerful energy, soul rock, steeny, starly. We got Aaron. Was I just talking all the time and not naming the cards? I can't even remember. Maybe I'm just rambling on. Rose Tower. Can we get a rose? We get a Santa Scorch V. Very cool. And I think this is one of the more expensive regular V cards. Do enjoy Santa Scorch. Uh, very well done on the design. It was in my party for my uh, casual playthrough of Sword of Shields and uh, used it a lot. It was a offensive fire type bug that was pretty fast and um, I think you have flame body or something where if somebody would um, attack it or have, uh, have a physical attack on it, it would uh, have a chance to burn. I think 30%, 30%. And uh, yeah, and if you don't know, if your opponent is burned, his um, his attack rating, I'm pretty sure it's the physical attack rating for sure. I don't think it's the spatial attack rating, but the physical attack rating, if a Pokemon is burned, it, it goes down with 30% or maybe 50%. So. Um, yeah, it's very useful when uh, you uh, burn an offensive Pokemon because it will, you know, it will lower its attack a lot. This is one of the best artworks from the set, but at the same time, it can also be one of the worst arts. I know um, this has been featured on Agile Fox's channel a couple of times with the worst art, or that kind of artwork has been featured. Um, Cup 2, we got Grimer, love to have this in reverse, very cool. and. Lugia! Yeah, there you go. That is a fan favorite for sure. Love the Lugia. Hopefully I can get it in reverse rare. Very cool card. All right. Lugia for the win. Another Charizard P map. So, man, um, we're on 15 minutes right now or 16 minutes. I think we're going to do good do two parts because um, I don't want to make this video 30 minutes. Uh, it's just a little bit too much. And you know, gets an extra video on the channel. That's always fun. So I'm gonna split it in two minutes after I finish this up. And then uh, probably if you see this video today, the other version is gonna go live the next day. So um, yeah, look forward to that. Cause I think there was still something special in this box. I think we can still get something. Wishy-washy and a Tapu Coco Hollow. Also cool Hollow. He's speeding over the field. I love when they kind of use um, yeah, a lot of movement in the cards. That's definitely something I do enjoy when they do that. So, Top of Coco, how many packs do we have? Uh, three packs. So there should be, if we use the math, one per three pack, there should be something, at least a hollow or a regular fee card in one of these three packs. Let's see if we can do that. So let's look at it. All right, Lightning Energy. We got a Clang. We got a Simi Sage, Billowing Smoke. Bunnelby, we got Toxel, Sinisty, Carablast, Meltan, Ursaring Reverse, so that is an uncommon, but I love Ursaring, great Pokemon, and a Gothithel. So Gothithel, used in the early meta of VGC as kind of a follow me, trick room user. It doesn't set up Psychic Train, no, that's just Indeedy, I think. It doesn't set up Psychic Train. All right. Let's see what we can get. Skarmory on the front, two packs left. Here's the code. Let's go, let's go, let's see what we can get. All right, we got Fighting Energy, Steeny, Furret, Yellhorn, Skarmory, Cup 2. We got the Wimpod that I was talking about. So the Wimpod kind of has the Magic Arc feel to it as it turns into Galissapod, the monster of a Pokemon. Toxel, we got Arctazult Reverse Rare. So that is great. Really cool. I'm not sure how I feel about the fossil Pokemon in this series. I, I think it's kind of fun with the two different parts of one, but mm, design is kind of gimmicky for me, but I don't know. <laughs> There's Muck. He's like, yo, bro, how you doing? That's cool artwork. He has triple poison on him. All right, last pack. Should, can we get something from this last pack magic? If not, I think we'll get something in the second half of this box, so ch stay tuned for that. Code card for you. All right, let's see, let's see. Let's see what we can get. The last pack magic, guys. Can we get fire? All right, all right. We got Pierce, uh, I think a fourth in the set. Tox effects, Harris, 
Gothica, we got Skarmory, Cupchu, Wimpod, Galarian Daramaka, and for the last card, we got a Volcarona regular rare, but I do enjoy that card. Very cool. Volcarona, a pretty useful Pokemon in VGC. Um, definitely back in the day, it was a useful Pokemon, but not sure, 100% sure now, but I see it coming by a little bit. So, what did we get? Well, there was actually only one card that really mattered. Let's pull it out one more time. Yeah, guys, we pulled it. The Charizard VMAX with its G-Max Wildfire. I love that they added the attacks, the G-Max attacks to it. So that was the pull of the set. Uh, what else did we get? Let's let's wrap it up a little bit. What else? So Suicune, very happy about it. Hopefully I can get the Melodic soon. We got the Tapu Koko. We got Santa Scorch V, very cool. We got a full art Salamence V, not too bad. The Slowbro V, also kind of cool. The Agron Hollow, I really like. And the Galissapod. And yeah, to end it off, guys, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new because we got the best card from the set. So tomorrow, we're opening up the second part of the box. But for now, this was Cameraman Pokemon. Ah.